Danielle Collins is a monster when it comes to returning second serves, and the cool thing is she follows consistent patterns that have let her win a massive amount of points. Do you know what her play is? What's up team, Coach Joshua here with the Tennis Tactics Academy, and first of all, you guys absolutely blew up my last video, and I'm stoked to see you like tennis strategy as much as I do. Super grateful for all the support, I'll keep it coming, and I hope you stick around. In my last video, we looked at a tactic that Novak Djokovic uses to break down the best servers on the tour. But if you're like most players, your opponents probably miss their first serve just as often as they make it. So the problem you need to solve is how to take advantage of their second serve. Right now, the top three second serve returners in the WTA have about a 60% win rate against their opponent's second serve. Collins is the lowest ranked of the three at about number 15 in the world, and that made me curious. How is she playing at top three level when it comes to second serve returns? Now, she just won Miami, she just won Charleston, but if there's one match that might help answer this question, it's gotta be in her legendary run in the Australian Open of 2022. Specifically, her semifinal match with Iga. In that match, Collins got a look at 21 second serves, and she won 18 of them. That's 85%, which is insane. But what if I told you her next level performance had a lot more to do with her tactics than her technique? And you can copy this tactic to level up your return game today. But first, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more winning tactics. All right, so every high school coach in the world is gonna tell their players to hit their second serve to their opponent's backhand. And Iga took that advice to heart in this match because she hit 20 of 21 second serves to Colin's backhand. And that's interesting because Collins likes her backhand. So this match became a clinic on backhand returns. Now, Collins has slightly different patterns on the add side and on the deuce side. So let's start on the deuce side. If the second serve comes to her backhand on the deuce side, she usually hits it inside in going down the line. And the one time it came wide to her forehand, she hit it cross court. The question is why? What does she see that most players don't? It's because Collins sees the service box with a line drawn through the middle like this. This splits the service box into either inside or outside serves. So if the server serves up the tee to your backhand, notice how the ball is closer to the midline than you are. So we would consider this inside in this model. Collins' rule here is to use her backhand to hit the ball straight ahead of her. She does this for a few reasons. One, to aim straight ahead, we need to hit the ball earlier, which means if by chance we catch it late, the ball is more likely to still go in the court. Two, this will usually pull our shot to our right-handed opponent's backhand, which will neutralize the point or give us an opportunity to attack. And three, it forces your opponent to move to hit that first ball, which makes the shot more offensive. Now, if the server serves wide to your forehand out here, notice how the ball is further away from the midline than you are. This is what we'd call an outside serve in this model. Most often in this situation, you wanna aim the ball deep cross court. This is because, again, it lets us make contact with the ball early, so if by chance we hit this late, the ball is more likely to still land in the court. This also means we're hitting into the longest line of the court, which means we can be aggressive and stay consistent. But everything changes on the other side of the court. Again, on the ad side, we expect most players will aim their second serve wide to target the backhand. And let's see what Collins does. If the second serve comes to her backhand on the ad side, her plan A is to hit it deep cross court. Again, this is because she sees the service spots with a line drawn through it, dividing it between inside and outside serves. But this time, if the server aims wide and goes to your backhand, notice how the ball is now further away from the midline than you are. This makes this serve an outside serve, which means we treat it differently. If we try to aim cross court, we're catching this ball early. If we catch that ball later, the ball is still gonna land in the court. This gives us more margin for error. Two, this shot is going back to our opponent's backhand, which will hopefully neutralize the point or give us an opportunity to attack. And three, the cross court line is the longest line in the court, which gives us the biggest chance of making this ball. So, if you get a second serve that you want to attack with your backhand, following these rules is going to keep you consistent while still dealing massive damage to your opponent. Against Iga, Collins followed this rule 100% of the time on the do side and 50% of the time on the add side. Honestly, she plays a little riskier than I might recommend for most players on the add side, but it worked for her. Now, where she hits that second serve return is only part of what makes her so dangerous in return games. She has another rule that she follows. Watch how she consistently hits her first ball cross court from wherever it lands. This lets her take a really big swing at the ball but gives her a lot of court space to hit into so she's more likely to make that shot. When it comes to starting points as the returner, I recommend that most recreational players prioritize consistency 
over hitting an outright winner. So I would stick to this tactic about 80% of the time. So quick recap, if the second serve lands outside, we hit it cross court. If the second serve lands inside, we hit it straight ahead. Then we hit our first ball cross court from wherever it lands and we swing aggressively knowing that we're aiming for a high percentage target. And that's all you need to steal Danielle Collins' winning return tactic. Combine these aggressive return targets with high percentage first balls and your opponents are going to hate serving to your backhand. If you want to learn more tennis tactics, I'll be dropping a ton of free content here on YouTube. So go ahead, like this video, subscribe to my channel, maybe hit the bell. I'll be dropping video lessons on my entire tactics library over the next few weeks and you don't want to miss it. And if you want even more tennis tactics, head on over to my website, tennistactics.org to stay in touch. Until then, hit your targets. We'll talk soon.